We'll start with Chad. Uh, we'll give the first question to Wes and then go to Joseph after that. Yeah, Chad, I, I know that Tony said just a minute ago that, that he and he and Frank kind of both thought you may not have had your best stuff tonight and the numbers may not have been the best, but they thought it was one of your best performances of your career. I mean, you give up those couple swings early on and the wind's blowing out and you're probably thinking it's probably not going to be a great night. What what changed things for you? Um, you know, nothing ever really went bad in my head. Um, you know, I try to fill up the zone every time and compete with, you know, their lineup and, you know, a couple guys put some pretty good swings on some of my pitches, made me pay a little bit, but, uh, you know, just the trust and confidence I have in our lineups, you know, just grab some runs and then uh, a little bumpy, like you said, in the first couple innings, but the big second and third uh Inning for us was huge, kind of gave me a little boost, you know, uh, you know, they're doing everything they can for me. So uh, don't stop anytime soon. Just keep pushing. Did the rain delay help help you settle down any bit uh, any or did, you know, it kind of make you a little nervous? Uh, I don't know if it, if nervous is the word. Uh, maybe a little anxious uh, to kind of, you know, get everything started and get it back going. Uh, I was kind of worried there for a little bit that if it lasted too long that um, they weren't going to let me go back out. Uh, thankfully, I kind of quit just in time to where they were confident in me going back out. And so, uh, and I, I don't know if it helped me um, settle in. I think that might have been the offense, uh, offensive help that helped me settle in. But uh, no, I mean, it, it, it worked out perfectly. Ryan and then Ben. Tony, and then plenty of players have talked to us this year about not feeling like y'all have played your best baseball yet. With the way this lineup's starting to get going, how close do you feel like you guys are kind of hitting your potential? I agree with that statement that we that we haven't uh, as well. But I, I, th I think we're making big leaps to, you know, showing everybody what we can do, and uh, especially with the lineup coming around, you know, swinging, swinging big sticks. So, uh, no, I think we're getting there. I don't, I don't know how – uh, how close we are yet. I know that we have a lot of potential. And so hopefully we just, uh, you know, keep improving day by day. Yeah, Chad, I had two for you. Just what did that routine look like this week uh, with, with Q that Tony was just telling us about? Yeah, so, um, you know, conditioning got, we had to cut out a couple of days of conditioning, um, had to combine two lifts to try to, you know, do all the movements, but not overkill uh, my body and, you know, just a lot of arm care with Q and Woody, just taking care of my body, making sure that I was going to be able to ready, ready to go today. So, um, you know, the only difference was we cut out a couple of days of running and combined two lifts uh, into one kind of, uh, you know, took a little bit less weight, did all the movements just to make sure that I was still getting it in and then arm care with uh, Woody and Q. And then how, how important was it to you to kind of make sure that you were able to battle and, and get through, five, six, maybe seven innings to, to try to help out the bullpen for the rest of the weekend? It's really good. Uh, you know, I'm glad that, you know, I kind of settled in and kept fighting. Um, and seeing the offense do what they were doing uh, was really big. Um, you know, just it made me want to keep going for them and uh, just keep competing. So it was really big. And we'll go to Wes. Yeah, Chad, I'm wondering about, you know, how well you worked with Jackson tonight. I know that, you know, you and Pav obviously are close and he's a guy who defensively is so good. Um, but how, how how did you work with him tonight? And just how valuable is it for y'all as a team to, to go to a, you know, quote, backup catcher and it's a guy like Jackson Greer? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Jackson played a heck of a game tonight. Uh, caught really well. You know, he grinded his tail off for me. And, uh, you know, seeing that makes me want to even do better for him. But um, no, I, I was completely comfortable. I haven't thrown to Jackson uh, since since the fall. So at first I was a little uneasy, but you know I have so much confidence in that guy to get it done and you know do his job for me as uh, best as he can. So uh, he played a heck of a game tonight. Any more for Chad? All right, thanks, Chad. Thank you. Good ball.